What's up, scholars? We are back with more amazing science. And today we are continuing our talk about light energy. Light energy is amazing. It is amazing. It is amazing. It is amazing. And I've told you before, without light energy, none of us would be able to see. And then what we did see, it would not be amazingly beautiful because it would have no color in it because light energy is the thing that allows us to perceive all of the different colors. Now, one of the things that we talked about is we've talked about the fact that light travels in a, how does light travel? Straight line. Yes, absolutely. Light travels in a straight line, but we can demonstrate that again and again and again. And we're going to demonstrate that in an even cooler way today. Do you remember Mission Impossible? Have y'all ever watched Mission Impossible? Where the part where Ethan Hunt, he falls from the ceiling and he's like hanging in the air like this and all of the lasers are shooting everywhere and he can't touch them because if he does, like everything will blow up. Yes, today we're going Mission Impossible. Watch this. So I've got my white light and I've got my laser light and I can take some powder. You use this if you ever get in a situation where you think that you might be walking in the lasers. Get you some baby powder and watch what happens. Oh, do you see that? Is that not cool? Mission Impossible. Now look what we have proved. We can see that light travels in a straight line as the baby powder goes everywhere. Now it looks like a scary movie. But here even cooler, when I come here, we can see the light visibly. We can see light as a particle that travels in waves. So light can be observed. We can see these things. We can prove these things. We can test these things because we are scientists. And that's what scientists do. Now, remember, we didn't only talk about the fact that light travels in a straight line, but we also talked about how light could be reflected. And that's normally off of shiny surfaces like a mirror. And with the reflection, you can normally see yourself. There's me. There's me. You see me? I see me. I see me looking at you. I see me looking at you, but you can't see me. There's my screen and all kinds of stuff. But we could also test that with our laser because very easily I can shoot my laser at the mirror and look at where my light goes. And I can do the same thing with my laser and look at where my light goes. I see it bouncing around in there. See if I can get it right in your view. Now, how does this happen? It happens because when light hits a shiny surface, remember we said it bounces or it hits it and then it goes off and it has an angle of incidence. So if it comes in at 20 degrees, it goes out at the exact same angle. And that's where you get that bouncing effect. Just like a basketball bounces, light bounces off of shiny surfaces. And we looked at a shiny spoon, we looked at a shiny mirror, and there's all kind of shiny surfaces. You could just get some tin foil. Now the picture might not be as clear, but the concept is still there. That when light hits a shiny surface, it has this effect that we call reflection. And that reflection is the light bouncing off of the surface. Remember I told you if you go to some water, maybe at a lake with some calm water, that you're able to actually look down at your feet and you're able to see a mirror, a image of your face because you see your reflection because that light is reflecting off of there. Now, it's not just that light travels in a straight line. It's not just that light can be reflected. There is actually another concept of light that we need to know. And that is what we're talking about today. Light can be refracted or bended. And when we say bend, I'm not talking about grabbing this string and ah, no, I'm saying that when light enters certain mediums, remember mediums are different types of materials. When life, light enters certain mediums, sometimes, the light will change directions. It will change directions, not hit it and bounce off, but actually go into it and change direction. Now, one of these mediums where it's very easily to observe is actually water. Now watch what happens with our thing of water right here. We can see that pretty good, absolutely. So if I was to take my light and I shine it above, you're gonna be able to see the big bulb. See the big bulb? But if I take that same light and I bring it down. I think this might need to be just a little bit higher. Let's see if we can make a little in the moment adjustment. Oh yeah, so much better. So I can take that and I can shine it above and I can see that. But when I bring this down, if I shine it in here, 
Do you notice what's happening? Notice how it's not as bright at the back, but the whole container is illuminated. Well, what happens is, is I have water and I have sand off in there. And when I shake that sand up, when that water tries to go through there and it hits those particles, it just changes direction and it begins to fill this whole container. Another really cool way to see that is we know that this light is normally straight. We just observed it. But if I take it and I shoot it through there, look at how it spreads out now. So instead of being one beam of light going straight, now we can see that it is being it's being refracted. It is changing directions and it's going all throughout that container. Same thing with this one, same thing with that, but that's not it. There's so many different ways that we can demonstrate refraction. We can take something like a hand tool, a hand lens. Now, a hand lens is a tool that's used to refract light. Remember I showed you before, it makes objects that appear, uh, smaller objects appear bigger so that we can see them easier. And what it does is it uses light to do that. It refracts the light. Another really cool thing that we can do with a hand lens is if I take some light and I shine it there, and I take my hand lens, and then I bring my light to it, you can make all kind of, and notice the size changing. And that is just so cool. And this is all possible because of this scientific word that we call refraction. Refraction allows us to do so many cool things. And last but certainly not least is we can use this tool. This tool is a prism. It's another tool that we use to refract light. We have big prisms, we have little prisms, and if you get enough prisms and you move them in just the right direction and you do it just right, you can actually create a rainbow. Oh my goodness, yes, and there's so much we can talk about there because that's where we learn that all the colors of light are hidden within white light, yes. But just for kick's sake, if I take this light and I shine it through my prism, what do you think is gonna happen? Let's take a look. Look at that. You can make all kind of awesome pictures and design. You're like a light artist doing things that only you can do with prisms and light. What if we can get a rainbow? Uh, if we move it around enough, oh, look at this. This is so cool. Oh my God, I know you love it. Now, tell your teacher to give you a prism, to give you a light, and to let you shine them on the roof and see all the beautiful creations that you can make. Those are just a few of the really cool qualities of light. I'm telling you, light is amazing. Light allows my glasses to work and they help because they refract the light in a way that makes small words look big for my old eyes. Light is amazing. I hope that you learned something today. Let's recap. We remember that light travels in a straight line. We have observed that, we saw it, we can prove it. We remember that light has a bunch of other qualities that help us. And two of the ways that light interacts when it touches a medium is that sometimes light will reflect, meaning that it bounces off of a, su a surface, normally a shiny surface like a mirror or a shiny spoon. And then the other way is that sometimes when light enters a medium, it will be refracted or it will be bent or it will change direction, causing us to be able to make objects look smaller and larger and different and all kinds of cool stuff. Light is amazing. I hope you enjoyed your lesson today and I hope that you learned something amazing as well. Think about all the objects that you have at your residence and I want you to see if you can find at least three or four or in your school, wherever you're at, light is working, I promise you. See if you can find objects either in your school or in your house that and classify them as objects that reflect light and objects that refract light. Objects that reflect light and objects that reflect light. refract light. How many can you find? I know you're amazing. I know you got this. It's going down. Have an absolutely wonderful day, scholars. We will be back on soon with more amazing science.